What are my intentions if I get elected Prime Minister of Canada? My intentions are simple. Recover all the resources under the Expropriation Act and return them to the people of Canada because they need the profits from those resources. My intention is also to make housing a necessity of life. I also have intention of making hydro, telephone and cable necessities of life. Land will be returned to all Indigenous Aboriginal people in Canada, including all citizens of Canada. They're going to be co-owners of all land in Canada. Land will, be ex land will be expropriated by me for that reason, for the benefit of the Canadian people. People working in office, in parliament, in political positions who can't generate profit for Canadians will be told to leave office. Uh, I'm at a train yard because I'm looking uh, for a train schedule. I'm looking to catch out and do a little rail hopping before I go into the life of politics. I'm taking time off to do this. If you're going to make corrections in life, demonstrations don't do shit. You got to go into office. The only changes are from political people. So I got to go in office, get elected as Prime Minister of Canada. If I get elected as Prime Minister of Canada, I've recreated the Constitution of Canada. I recreated the Mining Act. Any mining company can coming to Canada must return 70% of the mineral or its value back to Canadian people. If not, bye-bye. I'm also going after all corporations that pilfered, regardless of the agreements they had with the government. Any agreement that did not benefit the Canadian taxpayer, I'm coming after you. I'm going to put you in jail. Jails were created not for me. They were created for people like you that pilfer nations and profiteer off people. Tell us, Rogers, Bell, and a whole bunch of banks are going to face my rot. I, my rap is not going to be a good one. I want to know how many elders lost houses. How many banks expropriated houses from elderly people? I'm going to want to know exactly why the government did not invest in jobs for the Canadian people by creating, by creating companies, by creating corporations owned by the Canadian people, by allowing them to own the resources. I, I also plan on having the Queen of England charged with pilfering, genocide, and acts of terrorism against Aboriginal Indigenous people around the world. I need an explanation for slavery. I need a compensation for slavery. I need all assets that were generated from slavery removed from the owners and returned to the ones who earned that money. Uh, you all call yourselves godly. And we're going to do the godly thing. We're going to return the planet to the people because creation did not put up borders. You did. Now, you're going to remove your borders. You're going you're gonna to tell your religions to back off and find some hole to hide in because I am going after them. I need to find out who their God is and I need to settle scores with their God. I need to find out why kids in hospitals are dying and their God is not doing shit about it. In the end, it is what it is. If I'm not elected, someone like me will be. And they will do what I plan on doing. So I have this warning to you all. Pray I am not elected Prime Minister of Canada or a bunch of you in Parliament are going to have to account for a lot. I want an explanation, I want a good one.